everyone, this is Nurse Kat and thank you for tuning in on this YouTube video. Please click the like button and subscribe po sa mga hindi pa nag-subscribe. I'm happy um, to share with you today uh, a particular topic. Actually, hindi sana ako gagawa ng vlog ngayon kasi I was uh, a bit busy sa mga nakaraang araw kasi nagsimula na po ako ng orientation sa hospital and there are a lot of modules that I need to finish and there are a lot of things that I need to catch up on. However, uh, may mga encouragements po ako na receive from friends that say that saying na pagpatuloy mo yung vlog mo kasi nakakatulong ka and uh, I'm encouraged to make a topic today na from the past days iniisip ko din and the topic that I'll be discussing to you and I'll be sharing to you is uh, basic financial management for nurses. Alam ko po na sa Pilipinas sobrang hirap ng trabaho ng nurses or kahit saan, saan ka naman. We are one of the most underappreciated profession especially sa Pilipinas. Yung pay, pay po natin is um, sobrang mahirap. Kung hindi pa tayo nakikitira sa ating mga magulang sa Pilipinas, more or less, mahihirapan tayo sa ating daily finances. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna give you some uh, things na ginagawa ko pa to. Malamang po, makakatulong din po sa inyo ito. Ngayon na po yung mga nagbabalak pong pumunta ng US. Number one, you have to make a monthly bud budget. Monthly budget mo. So, a monthly budget will compose of those things that you usually spend yun a month. Like, uh, internet, siguro padala mo sa Pilipinas, uh, your grocery, and also the things na gusto mong mabili para sa sarili mo. So, syempre, nagtatrabaho ka, you also have to give, give something for yourself. But you have to make sure that you are within the budget. If you would like to buy something that it's already out of your budget, then you have to control yourself when it comes to that. You have to think na, okay, dumating yung sahod ko ngayon, 20% nito is all about my monthly budget expenses. The rest, ito lalagay ko sa savings ko. Ito, um, ilalagay ko sa education and professional growth ko. Ito, ilalagay ko sa for my emergency fund ito ilalagay ko for my retirement fund and so on or for investment and so on so kapag wala kang plano sa pera mo hindi mo alam kung saan na sila napupunta so mas maganda talaga pag may plano ka number two you have to think before you buy if uh, a particular material is already out of your budget and you really want it then you have to think about it before you buy. Ang tendency noon, uh, experience ko lang po na sa Middle East ako ulit. Kasi doon na tayo medyo nagkakaroon ng medyo malaki-laking pera. Um, I tend to go to the mall kapag uh, off ko just to buy something for myself. I ended up accumulating those things through the years. And then, nagka-problem, doon ako sumakit ang ulo nung magta-transfer na ako sa US kasi I, I noticed that I have purchased uh, a lot of shoes at damit na siguro mga once or twice ko lang nagamit. Which is, di ba, hindi siya, hindi siya maganda, hindi siya, parang hindi siya wise na gawin. Siguro ginawa ko lang yun just, just to make myself better or, 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 parang mapa mapagaan ko lang sarili ko na oh ano pera ko to gamit ko ganyan so wala namang masama dyan, pero you have to make sure that you are living within the budget you have to think before you buy ika nga kasi minsan napapabili tayo ng mga bagay na basta nabili mo lang kasi gusto mo pero hindi mo naman talaga kailangan so ah uh, yun po and then Number three, you have to pay your debts. Kung may utang ka man, or wala. Kung wala kang utang, huwag kang umutang. <laughs> Kung may utang ka, bayaran mo. Para hindi, hindi na siya magdadagdag ng sakit ng ulo mo. So, 
you know guys, these are the basics na minsan madalas nakakalimutan natin. And number four, you have to, lalo na pag nito ka na sa US, you have to first prioritize your emergency fund. So, emergency fund is actually um, ranging from three to six months daw na salary mo or ng monthly budget mo. Na at least, yun ang iuna mo establish para sa sarili mo. Whether you are in the Philippines, whether you are in the Middle East, whether you are in the US, those are the things na dapat mong establish. Emergency fund mo na. 3 to 6 months. Kasi hindi mo alam kung uh, may delay sa sahod mo or uh, may mangyaring kung ano man. Pag nadelay yung sahod mo at hindi ka nakapagpadala. O, diba? Or nadelay yung sahod mo at wala ka ng pambayad sa next na rent mo. Or wala ka ng budget for the next month. So, those are the importance. And then, number 5 po, um, you have to also save for your retirement and invest. If you have to save for your retirement and invest, sa lahat po ng hospitals dito, they are offering this 401k. Uh, this is more like a counterpart ng SSS sa Philippines na depende dun sa gusto mong i- kunin nila from your paycheck and um, this will be this will be saved for your retirement in the future and then minsan uh, or madalas yung mga companies tinatapatan nila ito if you are you are uh, say you would like to uh, give maximum siguro mga 10% Minsan tinatapatan ng mga hospital yan na 10% din. Tatapatan din nila yung um, binigay mo dun sa investment mo. Sa retirement investment mo. They call it 401k. Pero iba-iba siya sa mga institutions. Um, they also call 403. Uh, basta yung pong anything na savings mechanism na na ino offer ng mga hospital nyo. You just have to grab the opportunity to take advantage of it. Kasi at the end of the day, uh, we are here to work, not to spend paycheck by paycheck, but for us also to save. Kasi it's not all the time na nasa bedside nursing tayo. It's not all the time na malakas tayo. So we have to uh, think about those goals. So let's have a recap. Number one, make a monthly budget. Number two, you have to think before you buy. Number three, pay your debts and do not acquire debts. Number four, you have to prioritize your emergency fund. And uh, number five, save for your retirement and invest. For the investment part po, um, there are a lot of things na pwede natin invest. Uh, mutual fund, stocks sa Pilipinas or so. So, there are a lot of things or mechanisms on how we'll be able to save our money kasi sa akin I do not uh, I only put some emergency fund in the bank sa Philippines pero hindi ko siya full na nilalagay doon. Meron at meron ka pa rin um, investment in which you can also put in stocks or mutual funds that will uh, through the years eh, mas mataas yung interest kumpara sa pera na iniiwan mo lang sa banko so, I hope I was, I was able to uh, give you an encouragement and also enlighten you on the things that you need to do or have to do on, on the money that you are receiving every month. So, we have to be a, a good steward sa mga pera na natatanggap natin in order for us to live efficiently through the years. At hindi tayo magkakaroon ng problema kapag tayo ay tumanda na or pagdating ng panahon. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing and uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe and then um, I hope that I will be able to share to you the things, the practical things that we need to learn about life in nursing. Thank you and have a good day. God bless.